What's up guys? It's Jamie Messina. Are you hungry on the keto diet, but it's not time for your meal? Keto snacks could be your answer, or at least buy you some time in your busy schedule. Today we're going to talk about the best and worst keto snacks, and if you should be snacking every day. Alright, we'll get right into it. If you're following a keto diet properly, you shouldn't be snacking every day. You'll find that if you follow it properly, you're not even going to be hungry for snacks. That being said, there are times where you're going to need to snack. If you are finding that you need to snack more often, try upping the fats in your regular meals. All right, but today's video is about what snacks you can have while you're on their ketogenic journey. Let's talk about the easy whole foods. These ones have almost no preparation required, which is good for you on the go, people, and provide you with some good fats. We have hard-boiled eggs, cheese, avocado, Brazil nuts, pecans, macadamia nuts, olives, and if you're in a bind, cold cuts. Sometimes I'll grab some cold cuts, a piece of cheese, and some olives, and that holds me over till my next meal. If you're choosing nuts to snack on, choose the lowest carb options, like macadamia nuts, pecans, or Brazil nuts. Next, let's talk about the veggies and dip. Snack freely on those low carb veggies, like celery and cucumber. Just remember, carrots are a bit higher in carbs and they can add up if you're snacking frequently, but pair them with some cream cheese or sour cream so that hits the spot. Okay, berries and heavy whipping cream. Raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries are okay from time to time. Just keep them in moderation. Too many berries can take you out of ketosis. The three I mentioned are your best options where blueberries are a little higher, but if you are going with some berries for treats, Put a dollop of whipped cream on top. Just make sure it's the sugar-free whipped cream and that there's no artificial sweeteners. Just be careful with the berries and cream because you can go overboard. Another snack option, chocolate. Some people are amazed that chocolate is actually on the list of keto snacks. The key is to keep it to a very small amount. And you want a high cocoa chocolate of 70% or more. Avoid regular dark chocolate and milk chocolate because those are too high in carbs. One square of 85% chocolate has two net grams of carbs, so eat it sparingly. All right, some other keto snacks include pork rinds and beef jerky. I snack on both of these things sparingly and only if I'm in a bind because they don't necessarily fall into my clean keto diet. That being said, pork rinds have zero carbs and are perfect when you need something salty or crunchy. With beef jerky, make sure that you read the back of the pack. I have found ones that are loaded with sugar and carbs, so make sure that's not the case. Choose the bag that has the least amount of net carbs. Try to avoid artificial flavors and sweeteners. Okay, let's talk about some snacking mistakes. Grapes are bad. Banana, cashews, vitamin water, fruit juice, and that cafe latte could be loaded with carbs. And I feel like this is common knowledge, but the most horrible choices you can make are chips, donuts, candy. Just stay away. All right, here are a few of my favorite snack options. Grab a slice of cheese with some celery or cucumber and wrap it with lettuce. You can do celery filled with cream cheese, natural peanut butter or some soft cheese, Parmesan crisps, a slice of salami and cheese rolled together, or even a fatty coffee. Like I said, guys, if you're following a proper ketogenic diet, you shouldn't feel the need to snack often. It's very rare that I find myself in a situation where I need to grab one of those snacks. If you find that you are wanting to snack often, try upping your good fat. All right guys, hopefully that was helpful for you today. If you know somebody that needs to see this video, share it with them, get it in their hands somehow. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm coming back here every single day with valuable information for you. All right guys, till I see you tomorrow. Peace.